Okay, so talking about uh, pivoting and resilience in your life, and, and you can incorporate that into your business also. But uh, uh, there's a lady that I kind of know that was a resilience expert, right? But there was one day that uh, they were going on a, a family trip with some friends, and uh, her daughter decided to ride with the friends. There was three of them, mother and then daughter and then a daughter's friend. They had a car accident and the uh, all three of them died. So her daughter died that day. <clears throat> and of course, her life was split. Her life just completely changed in a split second. Now, they had grief counselors come, and the grief counselors just told them all the bad things that were about to occur, all that was about to happen. You know that uh, parental bereavement usually causes divorce. Um, they're highly likely to have mental illness now, and that they can pretty much write off the next five years due to grief. But she decided to take ownership and take responsibility and do it differently because she didn't know how to do it. She had the skills. And she had three things that she kind of named that I thought were pretty good about what resilient people do to get through adversity, how they pivot. <sighs> she said, first of all, realize that shit happens. Yeah, I said it. Realize that shit happens. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you can overlook what happened, right? But you just got to realize that it does happen. You know, in today's world, uh, that doesn't always seem the case. Seems like everybody's great, right? If you look on Instagram and Facebook, they got all these glowing pictures. Everybody's smiling. They're so happy. You're like, man, only bad things happen to me. But we all know, really, that's not true at all. Number two, you got to accept the things that you can't change Change the things that you can and have the wisdom to know the difference. I think there's a prayer. Sounds almost just like that. Now, it may be difficult, but you also got to find gratitude, right? There's one way to change the things that you can. Scientific studies say if you find three gratitudes a day, then it dramatically improves everything in your entire life. <sighs> the third thing is what I'm currently doing helping or hurting right people with uh, lost spouses people with lost children people with even lost boyfriends or girlfriends are they looking at the pictures every single day are they just constantly thinking of the past is that helping anything I get it I've been there I've done that once I put that picture away, it helps. It's still in your brain. It never goes away. You don't have to look at it every single day. right? Resilient people actually choose to focus their attention on the good things. You know, we're, we have an innate feeling um, to look for threats. We're really good at finding fear. And that served us well in the past. You know, back in the caveman days, we had lions that would chase us, or maybe dinosaurs, depends on how far back you go, and uh, served us very well, and we needed that, <laughs> that fight or flight response. But now, we don't have any real lions that we need to be aware of. There's other threats and fears, but focus on the good things. Choose what to focus on. Don't just focus on what your subconscious mind as you do, you know, like I said, we're really good at focusing on the negative. It takes a lot of effort to focus on the positive. And we all have moments in our lives. We all have moments in our lives that are tough and that are difficult. Unexpected things happen, right? You just have to choose how to deal with it because you're the only one that can. You choose how to deal with it. Not saying that it's easy. But you can live and grieve at the same time.
Don't have that guilt conscious because you're not grieving constantly in a terrible way about that person or that loss. Business loss, personal loss, whatever that looks like. A lot of people feel like they have to grieve constantly through guilt. Golly dang, I'm telling you, losing a child or, or losing a spouse are two of the greatest losses that anybody can ever endure. I hope that on nobody. But just remember, you can get through it. You can choose to live because you really were born of greatness and for greatness. And choose to live differently. We're all here for you.